Around Knights HQ, it's dead quiet. It's Wednesday, which is the boys' rostered day off for recovery. As Lachlan Fitzgibbon rises to start his day, a quick snack is on the menu before venturing to Dixon Park Beach for their recovery session. Hey, it's just elevator music. Absolutely unreal. This week, the boys are starting the day off a little differently. Newcastle, beautiful one day, perfect the next. Not a bad office for the squad to start their day off. Uh, this is our first session off site. Um, gives a chance for the boys to, it's actually an add on to the week where the training intensity has been that high that I think we need an extra recovery session and the boys have jumped on it and come in on their day off um, to get massage and, and jump in the water. So um, we've got a few more days to nail the back end of this week. Um, and then in line with that, the boys really need to up their preparation and up their recovery to be able to deal with what we're throwing at them at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting time of the year. We're only a certain amount of weeks away from football. We just Everyone needs to be doing everything they can to stay on the field and get through this intense period. Uh, yeah. Have a tracker, mate. Coach and staff told us to come down and get um, swim in, get the soul on the, on the body and get some massage too. I think it's pretty good leading into the big couple of weeks we've got left before trials and nines and the big couple of weeks we've had too that have been tough and I think the boys have out a little bit extra recovery at the moment. I'm feeling real good, fit as I felt, strong as I felt, so I'm looking forward to a big year. Obviously there's a lot, lot of new coaching staff and you know, fresh ideas and um, training's ramped up and that's a different style of training. We're playing a lot of uh, like conditioning games and a lot of uh, football specific games, which um, I think this year it's, it's, it's about, you know, playing our best footy, but, um, you know, over a consistent period of time. You know, it's, it's the best town in the world, I believe. And, um, you know, I couldn't see myself, um, you know, growing old anywhere else. Yeah, couldn't praise it anymore, so. Fitzgibbon is a local product and entering his sixth year in first grade. At the age of 26, the back rower's best football is in front of him. And to ensure he is peaking come season proper, more R&R after a swim has him set for the afternoon. Just a bit of tea there and I might cook myself bit of food soon so um, you know we had a big day of training obviously so I um, like to refuel when I get home and um, what's time now it's half past three so I'll probably have a bit of food now and um, um, probably eat again around six so um, that'll, that'll tie me over to tomorrow morning at training. As Lachlan kicks back, Kalen Ponga heads out on assignment. He's been invited to present the jerseys to the Australian touch football side. How are you going? How are you? It's a sport that uh, I grew up with. I played ever since I was probably seven. Um, it was a family thing for me. Uh, just always being down at the, the touch fields with my family, watching, playing. It's a team that he himself represented at the age of 18. Everyone, uh, congrats on the selection. Um, just go out there and, and just play. Just play the way you play and be you. And that's sort of what, what I did and how we, um, in that Trans Tasman series, we sort of got the win. We uh, went down the first game and then um, climbed our way back, but it's just a, it's a proud moment anytime you get to put the green and gold on. Being late January, the temperature is soaring. Today the boys back it up in the 40 plus degree heat.
but it's not all sweat and heavy breathing. Amongst the chaos, we have signing news. Local product, Pasar Misulo, uh, is inking his new two-year deal. I found out um, by my manager that I you know, could be signing another deal, and then you know, the next day, Maka came up to me and said, um, yeah, I was really excited, and you know, I was excited as well. I didn't know how to feel. Um, yeah, basically, I guess not long after, I went into his office and got the pen and paper and started signing. So, <laughs> uh, you know, me it means a lot. You know, I get to stay here at the club, my my home, um, and my family as well. You know, this is this is my my home, and I'm happy to be here. Sculpting an athlete is about more than just weights and training. It's about forming the right habits and setting achievable health goals around nutrition and off-field behaviour. If I said no protein ear powder again, yeah. would you know what to do to yeah, yeah, it yeah, with yeah. food? Yeah. Do you do bulk meal prep or you just, just, just do it night by night? Yeah, night by night. But overall anyway, you can do one to two extra carbs and one to two extra protein. Okay. If you do it the top half of the day, yeah, then you're going to be using that for fuel and you're not going to be storing it like you would at the bottom half of the day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, All right. Does, yeah. All right. As the team wraps up for the day, Mitchell Pierce is pulled aside. A supporter has a surprise for him and hit him with a special cool, request. Look at that. A little goatee and everything. <laughs> oh, that's unreal. I really appreciate that. Can we just sign it? Yes. Yeah. Let's see. What do you want me to write on it? Uh, what school do you go to? St Phillips at Waratah. Oh, yeah. Do you like school? Yeah, it's alright. It's a punish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you look smart, though. You look like a smart kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you this, mate. See if there's a bit of, bit of stuff in there. Cool. You have to sneak it from your nan, or are you going to keep it? I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> Good Thank on you, mate. Nah, thanks, mate. That looks unreal. Mm -hmm. That's unreal. No, I like yeah. drawing. I saw an arm. Um, I was trying to draw a bit when I was a kid, but I'm not very good at it. Next week on Be The Player. Good on you, Mitch. Oh, jeez, I'm sweating up, man. I can't tell you what we're going to do.